Hello art students, um, I am going to have you start making your sculptures today by teaching you four techniques for cardboard construction. Um, you will need your two pieces of mat board, I already started cutting one of mine, from your art folders. You will need your scissors that you got from your classroom teachers and then you have a small bottle of glue, this is just my regular glue, but a small bottle of glue from your, um, your art folder from the beginning of the year, your blue art folder. Um, I'm going to set that aside and start with the first technique. And the first technique actually doesn't need glue at all. You are going to use, we're going to teach you four techniques. The first one is slits. The second one is tabs. The third one is folds. And the, uh, the fourth one is bends and curves. So we're going to have those four techniques that I'm going to show you. Um, using slits. What we need to do is cut us two slits that are opposite each other. So what I'm going to do is take this piece and this piece, and I want them to stand up together. And they're not going to do that just by touching. And even just a glue dot isn't going to make them well connected or secure because it's not enough surface for them to connect on. So I'm going to cut a slit on the bottom of one, not all the way through, so it just goes part way up. You can see that slit. And then I'll cut a slit opposite where I want it to connect from the top down on the other one. So you can see my slits are opposite each other. And I put them together and it takes a little wiggling. But the, the less, um, if you make your slits wider, they actually are less secure. So you want them to be kind of tight like that. And then they stand up just like that. So you can see I did one with, with three and you can see there's slits here and here to connect these to make more of a zigzag line. So this is how we do um, objects with slits. So I'll show you that. Then um, the next thing I wanted to show you was tabs. So if we want a piece of mat board, and I'm just using some scraps I have from working with mine, to stand up, we're going to use slits first and then folds. So I've cut this piece out and I want it to stand up. In order for something to stand up, you can't just put glue on this surface. It's not enough to hold it up. So what I'm doing is I'm going to cut slits and you can cut them. This could be a long piece that you cut them all the way along, or it could be a, a smaller piece like this one. So I'm going to take my slits here and each one's going to fold the opposite direction. So we go backwards, forwards, backwards and forwards. Uh, it's important that all the slits are the same length or these won't all touch the surface at the same place. So now if I want to put these on a stand, um, I would take and I would cut an object to be my stand. So I've got a stand here and I want this to stand up. Right, so the stand will make it stay. I open my glue and I put glue on each of the four tabs. Just a little teeny dot. You don't need much. All right. And then I put it down and I do that hold and count to 30. It won't adhere right away. And then once I've got it so it's stuck, my object stands up. And this will still kind of want to pop off because it's I didn't really count to 30, but you get the idea. So that's how that goes. All right. So that is using tabs. So now you've seen tabs and you've seen slits. Now I'm going to talk about folds. I'm going to cut a long skinny piece. If I want to make more of a geometric shape that stands up, I'm just going to do a triangle. Which any shape with, with um, edges. So I'm going to make a triangle that stands up. And what I'm going to do is just fold my piece where I want it to fold. And it's a pretty stiff piece. You might have to kind of give it a couple bends and it might crack a little. That's okay. And then I want to fold the other half. Okay. Remember, I'm trying to make a triangle. And it won't just hold all by itself. So you have to have a place where it overlaps. So I'm going to fold this side so that they actually overlap and touch. And now I have a place to glue it together. So you can see that that is open. And then I can glue it together. So I'm going to take and put some glue here. Just a little bit. Again, holes, and it'll again it'll take. These are they're going to be a little resistant to sticking because you're bending them in ways that they are 
the paper kind of wants to be flat. You have to teach it to be not flat. And once I've held it long enough and it stays, you should have your standing triangle. All right, so we have those objects standing. And then um, last but not least is a um, piece where we want to make curves. So I'm going to take this piece of cardboard and I want it to be curvy to stand up. And in order to do that, you have to soften the cardboard. The cardboard wants to be flat. So I'm going to take and I'm going to bend. And I'm just kind of taking my hand and bending, 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 bending all along. You can see that it's starting to curve. And once it curves, it'll stand up. So I could do this. I'm thinking of like the tree I had in my plan. I could just make that and then start cutting out the roots to add to it. Um, but I want this one to be my grasses. Um, and this is kind of one of those places where I was able, so once I have it softened up, then it's ready to curve, I was able to take um, and make both halves of my cutting work well. So I'm going to cut a zigzag line right down the middle to make my grasses. I'm going to show you that. So I'm cutting and cutting right down the middle. Zigging and zagging. So each of these halves will be used, not just one. And it, this is really stiff material, so it is going to take some time and some slow, careful work to cut and fold these things. It's not going to be easy to do, and that is okay. Patience and a little bit of trial and error. The other thing you can do while you're doing this project, if this just isn't working for you, what you might want to do is practice first using like a cereal box first and then get your mat board. So now I have two pieces of this and I'm working the curves so that they're opposite. So then what I can do is I can actually stand these up opposite each other. But both halves of what I cut came apart and I can use them both because the zigzag line can be for both of them. So you can see how I made them, that row of grasses. And I could glue those together, or I could add another piece here, but that's what I wanted to show you today. So you've now seen four techniques. You have seen slits. You have seen tabs. You have seen folds. And you have seen curves and how those things can be done with your mat board. This is then, and I'll bring it down so you can see it really well here. So there we go. The finished sculpture that I did. Focus again. There you go. So this is my finished sculpture. You can see I've got the slits for the rocks back here, the curves for the grasses, and then I ended up adding some slits in the, um, in the way that we connected with the grass. And then these I just glued, these three I just glued flat to the surface in front. So I just stacked them. So that's a technique I didn't even show you, but just stacking and gluing can happen to make. So that's my finished sculpture. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and are excited to get trying it yourself.